This model from Corgi is a truck from the 1980s. It's a Volvo F12 tractor and it's coupled with a King trailer and it comes in the colours of Pickfords, a famous UK haulage company. The model comes in the usual colourful Corgi presentation box, but it's not as nice as some because the tray that holds the parts is a bit plasticky. However, it does come factory sealed. Opening up the lid, there's the usual suspects in terms of parts. The King trailer is a large and heavy part, and there's also the Volvo F12 tractor. Another part in the box is the gooseneck, and, oh, actually it's two parts because the turntable is separate. And there's also the resin load. Luckily the turntable ended up balanced on my big toe, so there it is. And the other part in the box that's always good to see is the Corgi collector card, which gives some information about the model and also its unique serial number. For this particular model, it's one of a production run of 1,000 models. To start the assembly, the only things to fit on the Volvo cab are a couple of door mirrors. And as usual, they just fit into holes on the sides of the cab. And the fit on these ones is just good enough that they'll stay mounted when you fix them to the cab. To assemble the trailer, we need to fit the gooseneck first. And that's got a neat little spring-loaded locking system, so when you push the gooseneck into the deck, it locks onto it, and as long as you've done it correctly, then it forms a good connection. To fit the tractor to the trailer, you need to fit a separate turntable piece first, and it really does help to get it the right way round. But when you've got it right, it's a simple enough matter to offer up the kingpin on the gooseneck into the turntable. And once that's done, it's not locked in place, so you can't swing the model about around your head. But for all practical display purposes, it's fine. If you like, there's one piece of detailing work you can do to improve the look of the model, and that's to stretch out the airlines from the cab. But there isn't a place you can plug them into the trailer, but by stretching them out, you can pose them in a position that looks quite good. The last part to add is the heavy resin load, and this has got all the feel of an offensive weapon, so this might be a good model to display on your bedside for when the robbers come. The load just gets placed on the trailer deck, and actually there's only one position it can really go in. Pickford's is a well-known company in the UK for heavy haulage and also moving house. It also must be one of the oldest companies in the world, because the Pickford's family actually started doing haulage in 1646. The company still operates today, but now it concentrates on home and office moving services. Detail under the Volvo F12 is fairly simple. The rear axles are detailed, but there's not much at the front axle. The fin tyres are mounted on wheels, which look OK, but on the review model they did look slightly plasticky. However, the cab casting is good, there's detail on the roof, including small lights. And the paintwork and graphics on the cab are very good, and the headlights are convincing. Behind the cab, the tanks and the airlines look fine, and the wheel arches are metal. And at the rear, there are coloured lights, although there's no number plates. The King trailer is nearly all metal, and the structure is certainly very solid. At the rear, the axle arrangements are also simple, but the tyres and wheels are nice enough. The gooseneck is a solid metal piece with no moving parts, but the rams are highlighted by paint. The trailer deck has got a replica timber texture, and the tie-down points are nicely highlighted in silver paint. At the rear it looks like the lights are painted, and there's a number plate. The resin load is an interesting piece because the paintwork and texturing of the tarpaulins is good. However, there is an issue with the scaling of the resin casting because the middle timber balks don't rest on the deck. It doesn't really show from a normal angle, but if it's troubling, you need to add some additional packing underneath. It's time to fire up the old Volvo on the Cranes Etc test track, and it rolls along smoothly enough in a straight line, which is all it's going to do because this model doesn't have functioning steering, but at least all the axles spin smoothly enough. The same functionality is really true of the trailer also, it rolls along in a straight line, all the axles are very free rolling. But there is an additional feature at the front because the loading ramps can be lowered in order to get a piece of equipment on board. So let's go for it with a piece of heavy plant and bring out a soil mech boring machine. And so if you want you can pose the trailer being loaded or with the machine on board and that frees up the resin load for the self defence purposes mentioned earlier. 
In summary, this is a reasonably nice looking truck model from Corgi. The paintwork and graphics are good and for the most part the details are pleasant too. Although there's not too much in the way of working features, this is a reasonably priced display model and it's recommended.